Hello and welcome to a Minecraft video. I'm Scudabuyo playing vanilla Minecraft Snapshot 15W50A of the upcoming release of 1.9 PC Edition. Uh, and in this video I'm going to be talking a little bit about this proof of concept uh, villager breeder here. Uh, so yesterday Ray of Ray's Works uh, came out with a uh, design for a villager breeder that was specifically intended to reduce lag. And uh, this villager breeder here is really just a, a minor variation of his design. So. Uh, all, all credit goes to Ray for this. Um, uh, if uh, he's <laughs> really does some cool stuff, so if you don't know about him, uh, go ahead and check out his channel. I'll, I'll include a, a link in the description. Uh, uh, but um, uh, the really cool thing about this is that he figured out how to get um, uh, villagers really packed into a small space here. Uh, so villagers are 0.6 blocks wide, uh, and Ray is using a specific uh, uh, arrangement of cobblestone walls uh, and wooden fences. Uh, uh, in order to, uh, or I think in his video you actually use nether, nether brick, but uh, nether brick fences. Um, but um, he, he creates this 10 pixel wide space in which these villagers fit. Uh, and um, 10 pixels is 10 sixteenths of a block, which is 0 0.625 uh, <laughs> uh, 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 blocks wide. And since villagers are 0.6 blocks wide, they just barely fit in there. Uh, now, underneath the uh, fences, he has a cobblestone wall with another specific um, uh, collision box, uh, and that leaves just one pixel of space uh, on which the villagers can stand. Uh, um, and that's important because uh, when the villagers then breed, the smaller baby villagers don't have anything to stand on, and they just drop out. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not really not very nice to villagers. Uh, so um, uh, he has. Um, uh, I, I think this is a this is a really nice uh, arrangement here. A couple of things that I noticed with it, though. Um, first is that even though the villagers have exactly the width that they need in order to stay in there, they have a little bit more length than necessary. Uh, so this is 32 pixels of length, and they really only need 20 pixels of length to fit two villagers in there. Uh, and there was also um, uh, an issue with the water stream that was carrying food over these iron bars. Uh, and that worked fine, except it did collide with the villagers in order to enable them to pick up the food. Um, but um, because they had some leeway in, this, uh, in their little area there, uh, they would get pushed around a little bit. Uh, so I thought I'd take a look and see if there's um, uh, something that I can do about those two issues. Uh, and this is what I came up with. Uh, so I'm, I'm using a, a, a little bit more <laughs> arrangement of cobblestone wall uh, in order to restrict the lengthwise area for the, for the villager breeding pair to just 20 pixels. So now they're in a space that is 10 pixels wide by 20 pixels long. Uh, and if I turn on uh, hitboxes here, you can see that there's ju just barely a small amount of space between them. Uh, but, they're, but they're not colliding with each other, so um, there should, really shouldn't be any problem with that. Um, <clears throat> now, uh, one of the things that Ray had mentioned in, a, in um, the comment exchange that I was having with him uh, is that there's a risk that the uh, baby villagers that fall out from here um, are going to get stuck on the wall. Uh, um, and um, I, I think maybe he's referring to the fact that um, when you have something on top of a cobblestone wall, um, it it, uh, it sort of uh, gets wider because it has this post sort of feature in the center. Um, but unless the cobblestone wall is connected on the side by a solid block, um, if it's just connected on either side by other cobblestone walls, um, the, the uh, post in the middle is just rendering only. It, it doesn't actually extend the collision box of the cobblestone wall. So I can slide along the edge here and not get stuck on that lip. Uh, it's um, it's, uh, com it's uh, not included in the collision box of the cobblestone wall. Uh, so if, um, if uh, you're worried about baby villagers getting stuck on a collision box of the cobblestone wall right here, you don't have to worry about that because that little bit doesn't actually exist. Uh, so um, yeah, uh, um, I've tested this out uh, with spawn eggs and, and with just uh, letting the villagers breed um, uh, by themselves uh, and uh, really haven't had any problems, uh, never, never gotten a baby villager stuck on there. So. Uh, now I'm going to further compact uh, this space by moving the water channel that's carrying the food uh, over to the side um, uh, and allowing the villagers to, uh, uh, you know, different lines of villagers to share the common middle blocks. Um, that's also going to allow me to uh, line the, uh, uh, the water channels uh, for the villagers getting food with ice. 
Uh, and these villagers here can still pick up items, uh, can still pick up food if it's aligned on this side of the stream. Uh, even though they're not fully inside uh, the, the blocks of this row, they'll still be able to get the food if it's, um, if it's aligned on that side of the stream. Uh, and I'm going to f uh, further pack villagers into an area by allowing them to share uh, a water stream for, for getting food. And, and now I know what you're thinking. If um, this villager here needs to have food aligned on this side, uh, and this villager here needs to have food aligned on this side, um, how is that going to work? <laughs> well, and, and that's why I've designed this, uh, this weird uh, water channel thingy over here. Uh, so items in this water channel are actually going to travel through it twice. Uh, the first time they're going to be on the aligned on one side. You can see that they're all uh, that the spawn egg there is aligned all on the left, and then it's going to turn around and go through the same channels, except this time aligned on the right. Uh, and so um, th that turns out to uh, work really, really well. Uh, and uh, what I've got on top of this villager breeder over here is um, is just a, a huge version of this. So, uh, and because it's all lined with ice, there's really no uh, no need to worry about items uh, despawning after five minutes because they are going to zip through here twice uh, without any problem in under five minutes, um, even in a much larger version of this. Um, uh, so speaking of a much larger version, uh, so um, this is actually not so big uh, in terms of an area, but I can actually fit 256 villagers in, in here, 128 different breeding pairs. Um, they are very, very closely packed together, but as long as they are separated um, by this width of cobblestone wall, they don't... Um, uh, uh, villagers in adjacent breeding areas don't seem to be able to breed with each other. So it's only the, the pair inside that little area that can breed with each other. Um, villagers from different uh, of those little holding areas can't breed with each other. Uh, at least I haven't seen that in my testing. Uh, so I think that is all I really wanted to go over for this video. This was mostly for Ray. If you're if you're watching, um, uh, this was <laughs> this was what I was trying to explain to you in the comments. Um, uh, but uh, thanks again for the great design. Uh, I've really had a lot of fun playing around with this. Uh, I think that's it then for this video. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave a note in the comments. And uh, thanks for watching.